Sarge, you're making a smart move. And your signature on that little paper makes you a full-fledged partner tonight. Hope I'm not making a mistake. Oh, I almost forgot. I need 300 bucks. 300? A check will do. Are you nuts? You got 300 off me last night. All right, I'll try to explain. Signing the lease is just part of it. I need 600 to close the deal. And you being our treasurer... I resign and give me my dough back. Now, now. Partners shouldn't quarrel. What's that? Woman Joe. I didn't hear nothing. Sell Marla. Chelsea? Can I throw you a few leads? Ah, you know I don't bother with used phone numbers. <laughs> Did McGraw sign the lease? Oh, he signed everything, but he wouldn't come across with the rest of that dope. Oh, then what good is it? Well, we need 600, and we only got three. Yeah, I know, I know. Hi, Dynamite. Hi, Turk. Hey, how the Lies at Frankfurt. Good pickings? Great for me. Which makes it kind of tough on you. Well, I'll take my chances. I followed you in Hawaii, didn't I? And I wound up with 12 hula skirts in my footlocker. Yeah, dynamite batted a thousand. Almost. Huh. It's that almost that separates the men from the boys. I suppose every time you went to bat in Frankfurt, you stole home. Turk was knocked out of the box once. Just once, huh, Turk? You mean Lily? Yeah. She don't count. Who's this Lily? She's a dancer in the Cafe Europa. There ain't a GI in the 3rd Armored Division can date her. Uh, she's a real fooler. Steam heat outside, iceberg inside. Yeah? Well, I got 50 bucks that says I can defrost her. And I got 50, I'd like to double. I got Lily as far as the door. Let's see if you can make it inside and uh, stay around for a few hours, like till dawn. Give me three days. I'll give you a week. That's a bet. Ten on dynamite. I've got 20. Oh, right, 50. I'll have 20. Come on, 300 on dynamite. 300? Come on, come on. Anybody going to cover it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I got 25. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want a piece of that. 50 bucks. Hey, but you're with us. Well, I know, but I'm betting against you. Like you're nuts. I'll watch out for your interest, Turk. Good, you can hold the stakes. Okay, okay, come on. All right, come on. Hey, Ryan, where are you from? Hi, Padre! Hi, Padre. Hi, Padre. Just getting the names of some uh, art galleries to visit in Frankfurt. Of course, of course. Now, the Cafe Europa has some wonderful paintings. Okay, let's go. All right, man. I mean, cross the street on the double. Briefing from Captain Obar. Let's move out. Come on, give me the money. All of you are, in a sense, American ambassadors to West Germany. Your conduct during your tour of duty in Frankfurt is therefore of the greatest importance. There must be no black sheep among you, which I regret to say is not the case. Sergeant Bixby. Sir, Bixby, you're a good soldier. A fine soldier in every respect but one. We keep getting complaints from German fathers. But, sir, I don't know any German fathers. Might be better if you did. So we at headquarters put our heads together, and the best answer we could come up with was to ship you to Alaska. Captain, you can't do that. Who said that? You take off at 10 hundred hours. Fall into a train at 0950. Questions? Coming in. Edge hunt! Dismiss your platoons. Yes, miss. Cookie, you better get us what you can do with Turk. Would you like a little sugar in your coffee? Two lumps. Gladly. Gladly. Turk. All we want is a fair shake. That's all. It's not our fault that dynamite's being shipped to Alaska. What do you say? Okay, Cookie, I'll give you a 
Fair shake. Thanks. Anybody in your outfit can make the play for Lily. Turk, quit kid. Come on, Cookie. We're pulling out. Oh, my kid. It's on board. What do you say? The bet's off? The bet's on. Good luck. You're going to need it.